Hey YouTube viewers, I wanted to do this video, hopefully it's going to be quick, um, before I have to go to a job interview, and I had a few more subscribers, and I got really excited, and I'm dancing behind the camera, and so I figured what I'd do is I'd go level by level on my mini altar here to describe you what I use things for, where I got it from, things like that. Um, I'm not going to go too much on stuff on top. But today I'm going to do the stuff on top and then the stuff that's normally back here, which some of it I pulled out. So, or well, one of it. Okay. So, let me relocate. Okay. Um, I'm not going to talk about this stuff up front, including Mr. Buddha here, um, because that was in the last one. Um, this is this statue of Jessica Galbraith uh, of Hecate. Um... I got her for $40, oh, actually she's the second one. The first one I got from a store specifically um, called Hecate's Crypt, actually, it was kind of cool, um, for 40 and then she got broken and I bought another one from Amazon, whatever. These right here, you can't see them very well, these are little bits of wisdom that come from my favorite witchy store, you get one every time you go into the store. And I put those in my old, or I'm sorry, I put those in my book shadows, actually. So, um, this is my little, you saw him last time, my little tiger totem dude, um, because tigers are my animal. Um, let's see. Um, this rose quartz chunk is in the relationship corner of the house, and so it's for all of the people who live in the house um, keep relationships happy um, this is um, a ruby zoocyte heart shaped stone um, I have that just because I love the color green <laughs> really but it since it's I've got the rose quartz here and it is Beltane things like that um, this egg still has a spell in it from Imbolc. <laughs> um, this is a rune that I got from a, an Imbolc circle I went to that I decided to keep um, on here just to remind me. Um, this amethyst chunk I like to keep up here because I have um, some problems with I f I'm not sure if I am an empath or not um, where I pick up other people's energy other people's anger, upset, you know, I pick it all up and it's really bothersome. So I have that to help kind of clear everything around here and then I have this smaller one that I carry around with me personally. It's hard to see that it's purple but it is. Um, and then I also have this tiger's eye for self-confidence. Whoops, which I will be taking these with me. Excuse me. I will be taking those with me for my interview. And then this is a spell that I did with Tiptoe Check recently. And this stuff up here you don't need to know about. Because <laughs> you already it's already on the video. <clears throat> um, let me pull these out while I'm here. Doo -doo -doo. Uh oh. Oh, I almost lost them. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. We'll do this one first. This is what I call my digital book shadows. Um, and I call it that because it's all stuff that's printed up on the computer anyways. So, as you can see, the Wick and Read, Wick and Creed, my dedication, my book blessing, um, chants that I use, um, how to do a ritual, the steps that I follow for a ritual, um, call to the god, call to the goddess, invocation of the god, invocation to the goddess, how to invoke the elements, um, what a, a basm is, a basum, how I consecrated my altar tools, um, the S bots and what they're good for or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. 
And then I bought, I borrowed this book, The Witch's Spell of Day Almanac, the 2006 book. I borrowed it from the library and I copied down 25 pages worth of spells. My kitty is going to join you in just a second. Oh, hi, kitty! Um, so I copied down spells that I might find relevant later on. Um, but if I find that book, then I will recycle this paper. So. And then these are recipes from that book. And these are all, all this for like, until like here. Yep, to right here is all articles from the Llewellyn Journal. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, that I think are relevant to keeping in mind. Um, a lot of them, um, once you get past a certain area, a lot of them are tarot. Scanning a tarot reading. Um, tarot, past, present, and future spreads. A lot of them are spreads. Um, that one's not. Neither is this one. This, these are all about decks. Um, picking a tarot deck. Building a tarot deck collection. Um, there's a spread. Um, things like that. I only have three minutes left, so we're going to go to the other book. Oh, sorry, kitty. Well, your nose is in the way. This is my kitty. Her name is Naya. She's a minx, if you don't see the little tail there. Um, this is my go-to book, Tarot Made Easy by Nancy Guerin. Possibly the awesomest book ever. And if you look, there's little sections for each card. There's 32 sections. For the Knight of Cups, she'll tell you what a knight in what this means in a reading. The focus of that. If you're doing a romance reading, there's a romance section. There's a pleasure section. Things like that. You can just pick a section and read it. I freaking love this book. Anyways, this is my my tarot book, I guess you can call it, in astrology. It's me and my hubby. Um, in some recent spreads I found pen, paper, tarot section. These are the little cards I fill out every time I do a reading. These are the older ones. That's a different kind of reading I do. These are the newer ones. The decks I use the most are right here. And I fill these out every time I read for someone or, so, you know, even if it's myself. Um, I fill it out and I keep it because I do go back and reference it. Um, and a lot of the times I write, you know, I'll go back and write notes. There's one in here I did the month before my husband's accident. And... The cards told me I would be taking care of a loved one, taking healing them. So I go back and I read them every so often to catch up on that thing. Then this is the astrology section. Uh, I haven't done much with this, but this I plan out everything. Like here's one that's completed. This one was done on the computer, but still. Um, plan out everything. Some charts. Tells you who, it is, who you are. And this is so scary accurate, it's not even funny. So that's the stuff, that's just random stuff. Those are tattoos I want to get, so. Um, nothing else back there, I promise. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next time we'll do a video on this first shelf. Um, this shelf will take a very long time because it's all my stones. And then all my books, I probably will have to do two or three videos on just the books I have here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Blessed be. Thanks for watching.